uh, you know, you said that, but I, uh, I think in the, in the old three games, the, the guys are playing hard, and uh, I think uh, on the defensive end, in all three games, we have tried, we have tried to compete, to dive for loose balls, to switch, to uh, change different things game to game. Um, it's hard offensively because, as you see, we're, we're having a hard time scoring against them. They're very athletic. They switch a lot. They try to take the ball away from LA hands as soon as he catches it. And on top of that, we're shooting. We're not shooting well. So it's, it's been another challenging night. But uh, as for the effort, the pride, and everything, you know, there's just my hat off to the to the team. Thank you. Uh, Coach, um, how close do you try to keep the rotations to what Pop normally does, or you just go with the feel of how the the game was flowing? No, we we talked before the game, not only uh, let's say after every game we discussed, and our goal was to try to have a little bit more of size, unless the circumstances like foul or somebody being tired force us to go a little bit smaller. It's not an easy task because they have two Hall of Famer. Uh, player uh, with size on top of that. Not only great players, but also big, tall. So we put a smaller guy on him, they post him. We put somebody who's not as athletic as they are, we might lose him in the swing. So uh, once I said that, we tried the, the, the overall purpose was to try to keep a little bit more of size and shooting on the court. Yeah. Coach, in Spanish, una pregunta. Parecería que los Spurs están jugando buen básquetbol, pero por momentos quizá no alcanza para derrotar a un equipo como los Warriors. ¿Cuál sería el mensaje que le va a dar a sus jugadores o le van a dar para el próximo partido cuando ya es definitivo? Bueno, lo hemos, creo que uh, la cosa más sencilla que podemos decir es que primero no tenemos que estar deprimidos porque lo estamos intentando en todas las maneras y... Y segundo, tenemos uh, ofensivamente que seguir moviendo la pelota y seguir tomando tiros abiertos. Y más que esto, no, no, podemos, no, no es algo que se puede inventar, pero que no, I mean, no tiene nada que tener vergüenza. Están jugando con gran actitud. Después de una temporada difícil, nos hemos metido en el playoff y tienen que estar orgullosos de lo que están haciendo en la pista. ¿Tiene alguien alguna translation? ¿O you, you me Ok. Trust me. Trust me. Ok, thank you. De nada. Coach, when you're down in a 0-3 hole, how, how do you keep this team competitive? How do you keep their spirits up because of the you circumstances? You don't speak Spanish. I don't. <laughs> but I do trust you. I do. Um, We're, that's already a good start, yeah. especially after I, uh, we lost today. Thank yeah. you. Uh, I, I, I said to your colleague that, uh, first of all, you got to fight the frustration for the, for the losses. And for that sense that you have sometimes that you try, 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 and nothing works, which is not true. I mean, good things have happened. And uh, the second thing is that defensively, we need to try to keep improving in the small details because it sometimes is a, is a late switch or uh, we force them to a bad shot, one of the few, and then they get the offensive rebound. Those, those little things can, can be a factor in a, in, a, in a game with this excellent team. Uh, once at that, offensively, there is nothing else that keep trying to move the ball and find good shot and, and shoot the open shot. Uh, you know, and, and that's it. You can't you can invent nothing more than that. And the last thing, last but not least, I think they have to be proud of what they've been doing in this very difficult year. They can't feel ashamed because they're losing 3-0 with the, with the Warriors. They get, I mean, we're going to be also proud of what we have accomplished being here. And uh, uh, Sunday it's another day. And hopefully we'll get we'll get to game five. Tony had his most productive offensive game in more than a month. What allowed him to break out tonight? We should ask him. I have no idea. I think I think uh, he probably felt better and uh, he was more aggressive and he played uh, his best game in the, in in the last three four weeks exactly. Uh, coach, right, right here. Um, will you, two questions. Will you be the coach Sunday and are 
the rumors with you and Charlotte, is there anything to that at all? I think that those are two questions that probably are not important tonight. What do you think? I, you know, no, no. Uh, I, you know, we're. I don't think it's the right thing to make any comment on any rumors that is coming out on whoever that rumor comes about. And as for coach, uh, we we don't know. We'll talk. We'll see how he how he's done. That's not the most important thing in this moment at all. Thank you, coach. With everything, I'm right here. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. Um, with everything this team faced emotionally mm -hmm. coming to this game, what was the hardest part for you in terms of preparation and getting the team for me, ready to play? I mean, they they they've been great in the gym and uh, with the coaches. We discussed the plan. It was already discussed before everything happened. So there, there was, I mean, everybody tried to do his best, and uh, I was more than fine. There was no. It was more, as you can understand, a sad time. Okay, rather than anything else, there was already a problem, of course. Coach, when you get out of this comfort zone like you have been the last two days, is it does it take a toll on the team? Is there does it hurt mental focus at all in getting ready for a game like this? No, I don't think so. I think they're all great pros and great people. I think uh, as a team, this is my answer. Individually, I guess that any different individual is going through his own personal things and it's impossible for me to evaluate that. I think they, they everybody did a fantastic job uh, as players, as people working in the organization, as staff, and really trying to support each other and uh, face this moment like it should be faced, you know, uh, with the support of friends. And uh, there is nothing that can be faced individually at, at this level of, you know, set event. So. Coach Curzon is waiting. Thank you. Thank you.